Hey, welcome guys. It's Tim here with Test Demi. We're back and we're going to jump right into this video on this next part of the test automation for beginners. And what we're going to cover is something going to be so cool. You're going to like it. So let's get it. Woo! Let's go. All right. So I'm going to show you guys something called the turtle in Python, right? So again, for those of you that are uh, your first time perhaps watching these uh, video tutorials this is test automation for beginners those that want to get started in selenium web driver using python but what we're going to do is since the foundation of test automation is uh, programming we're starting with the programming language python and we're on uh tutorial i believe this uh video number four if i'm not mistaken uh we've done the installation of python pycharm we went through a walkthrough of idle and now we're going to look at what's called the turtle just a uh, more and this turtle um uh, demonstration is more a visual representation so as you're typing code you can see what your code is doing from a visual uh, perspective so again like I mentioned the secret one of the secrets to really excel to be a test automation uh, engineer or developer is to type along so as you see me type in type along baby let's type 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 all right come on let's go so everyone we're gonna see <clears throat> excuse me see my screen here on the left like the previous video we have the idle shell Again, we're using Python 3.62, as you can see. On the right here is the file editor. We're actually going to type longer bits of code in order for it to be used and executed on the left-hand part. So I'm going to uh, do what's called, and type along, we're going to do what's called the import. Import pretty much is just like anything. If I want to import goods from a different country, I'm going to import. That means to bring in. So when I use the import uh, command, what the import command is saying is, it's saying, yo, Python, go out there and grab this thing I need. In other words, we're going to go borrow somebody's code and implement it in our code. So see, Python has what's called the Python standard library. They also have the extended version of the library. And a lot of times with these extended libraries and the standard version of Python's library, you have other developers that have already written code, a package code that you can just leverage and use right off in your code right off the bat you don't have to write a lot of things from scratch so what we're doing in our code we're calling it's called calling this particular um, module and the module we're calling is the turtle a uh, module all right and this is going to help us write code much faster and be more efficient test automation engineers all right so type uh, uh import module and i want you to do this you're going to um create an object but we're going to learn about this later uh no let's not let's do um uh, new turtle right so just type in new underscore turtle and what we're doing is we're creating an object at the same time this is uh, uh, a var variable initializing this variable and I want you to type in turtle let me if I can spell it'll be very nice today uh, and put dot and type in turtle which is the actual class or method all right do just that and what I want you to do is one thing uh, in order to be a great developer is don't wait to write all your code at one time, right? Just write little bits, little bits and pieces of code and test your functionality to make sure it works. So now we've imported a, a turtle module and we um, created a new instantialized, instantiated a new class here, object here called new turtle. Well, it can be a variable, whatever you want to call it, but we'll talk about that later. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this new uh, file here. We have it under here, test demi automation. And we're just going to type in uh, new turtle, okay? As our file name, and as we mentioned in previous videos, these are uh, the file extensions that py. You don't have to put it in there; it's going to automatically save it um, here. Uh, as you can see at the top, new turtle py, right? So what I want you to do is go ahead and run it. Uh huh. Uh, one moment. That's my fault. Uh, yeah, uh, it's mistakenly indenting that. Uh, we're going to talk about indentations later. Um, so go ahead and just uh, run it. Oops, oops, another indentation. Wow, okay. I must have been very excited. All right, so let's go. Now I should run. All right, so now you can see here, you can see this little turtle. You can see it says tur Python Turtle Graphics. And what that pretty much is, it's the actual module or the code that we actually imported into our code that we're writing. And it brought up this Python Turtle Graphics. And this is used to teach people that want to get started with Python, right? It's a very good visual uh, demonstration. So we can close it out, guys, ladies and gentlemen. And do this also again. Type in new uh, new turtle again. If you hit tab, it should be able to complete that command for you. Again, this is an object. We're going to talk about that later. Uh, what you want to do is um, uh, you want to type in turtle. Um, uh, type in turtle. Uh, excuse me. You want to type in my turtle that forward here, and that's going to move it. Uh, you can move the uh, turtle. You know. Hunt, 100 degrees uh, forward. So let's uh, go ahead and save that again. 
So you can actually see this visual representation. And as you can see, the turtle moved right. So let's actually do this. Um, let's move this here so we can all see what's going on as we create our code. And what we're going to do here is on this first demonstration, we're just going to create a, what's called a square here. All right. So let's do new turtle again. Oops. New turtle again. Again, follow along and type along. And you're going to do... Uh, so our turtle has moved, uh, our turtle has moved uh, forward 100 degrees, like driving, uh, consider a map question, you're driving down the street. So you're saying, okay, now if you're going to Walmart, drive straight for 100, 100 miles. That's kind of a far Walmart, okay, 100 meters. Uh, and I'll make a left. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a left, right? We're going to swing to the left, you know, candy paint. All right, just play. All right, so uh, new turtle dot, and you can do, uh, let's see, let's do, I believe this is, let's do, uh, let's do right, okay? Right, and now let's go 90 degrees because you want to you want to just tilt the car like you want to begin to turn it 90 degrees or your turtle. I'll go ahead and save that, ladies and gentlemen, and run it uh, here. As you can see, uh, it's actually pointing downward. So actually, I want us to turn. Uh, yeah, so right, it's fine. So do it again. Uh, if you want to make this, uh, let's see. So do new turtle. Uh, fill that up, and you're gonna do forward again forward and you're going to do 100 degrees let's just finish this out new turtle dot do, 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 do. let's do right again and let's do 90 degrees all right so what we're doing here we're creating a square let's actually make our code more readable all right this is just practice guys kind of get you started in python um and just type along i know it's, it's tempted to copy and paste which you can do it's fine but uh, if you're just beginning, it's always good just to get as much practice in as possible, okay? Uh, 100 degrees, and do it again. See, I'm literally just typing mine up. And do right again. 100 degrees. And we'll do 90. And let's do one more to kind of complete our square. We'll do new turtle. I know this is uh, this is tedious, but I'm going to show you guys a trick uh, when we do this again uh, using the uh, for loop, uh, using for loops. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a moment. So just keep typing along. We're actually creating a square. Uh, new turtle dot forward. All right. Oops. That right. All right. So you're going to see a visual representation. This right here should create a square for us. All right. And there you go. See it. So it created a square, right? So if you want to actually see what your code is doing at any time, what you can do is you can do this. Uh, you can put this hash tag or this hash pound. And uh, you can comment out any part of your code. And what it's going to do is going to take away one line. So let's run that again. Uh, save, run it. You're going to see it's going to take away one part of it. See that? So that tells us what exactly is happening. And if I now uncomment this again, you're going to see that it's actually going to complete our square. So that's a good way to actually work on your code, test your code, uh, to see exactly what's going on. See that? So it created a complete square. Now, in order, you might say, okay, Tim, well, that was tedious, that was long, and that was kind of. Um, uh, boring let's be honest all right so let, let's make it faster right let's make it more efficient all right because coding is about how can i be more efficient in my coding and automate things faster uh so let's uh we're going to do a new save as i'm just going to copy this import uh i'm going to do save as and i'm going to do two just call this two there's the second version so let's uh let's just leave this part right and we're going to use what's called for loop so you're going to see how cool this is I'm going to say for i in range and we're creating a so this is just pretty much saying run this four times and we're going to put in four uh put a colon it's going to indent it because python goes by indentation um which is four spaces so it can know that it's a new block of code uh type the same command we've just been running right so just type in new uh new turtle and you can do that forward uh, forward and just do 100 and you're going to notice we're going to have to only going to have to type this code in actually just one time all right so just do right and do 90 degrees and that's it and we're all set so now go ahead and save this and you can run it what it does is going to you're telling python here you're saying python um loop around this or run this four times that's pretty much what it's saying at the most layman's terms just saying pretty much run this four times right and which is what we did um with this last piece of code right uh that we had in our previous version okay all right so let's go ahead and um i think i saved this i just like to save and just hmm. all right and run it uh invalid syntax one moment for i oops 
All right, that's my fault. There you go. There you go. You learn and you go. You can't miss. Uh, so a few things here, guys. Uh, Python has what's called keywords. We're going to talk about that later. But for is a keyword and in is a keyword, which is kind of uh, been set aside for uh, the Python interpreter and the program itself that you can't use in your code because it's a keyword. Uh, let's run this. And if you notice, it created our same uh, square much faster, right? Isn't that cool? All right. I, I thought that was pretty cool, right? So this is how to write code faster as opposed to something uh, like this, which is actually also fine. Uh, but you can see it's much longer, right? It's the same code. These are actually the same exact code you're looking at. Uh, this is writing it out the longer version. And here is just a much shorter version. Which one would you rather go with, right? Uh, so that's programming and the power of programming here with Python from a Python perspective. I'm going to show you guys one more cool tool uh, that you guys can leverage. Uh, let me pull it in here for you guys. Uh, go to this website when you get a chance. It's going to show you. It's a great a resource to learn a, a lot more about the turtle. Uh, Michael0x2a.com blog turtle examples is just a great resource. It talks about how to draw a line using uh, the uh, turtle, draw a square, which we did. Uh, square using a for loop here. Uh, you can actually do a lot of great things you can do with this expected output draw a star spiral and star you can create colors uh octagons uh you can do a lot of great things just to see uh, a lot of great things with the uh turtle so check out this link here uh and learn some more i'll probably leave this in the comments so you guys can actually be great right so uh to the next video i'll see you guys soon if you haven't subscribed be sure to subscribe and i'll see you very soon in the next video testdemi.com see you soon peace